Hey everyone, Mr. K here. Yes, this channel is not dead. I know it has been a while since my last video, but I've been busy. And school just started back up. I have a brand new Game Maker class, and I'm going to do a repeat, but I'm doing it uh, in the drag and drop method instead of coding, because we haven't done any coding yet. So this is going to be a repeat, so uh, my apologies. But anyway, let's get into it. Um, fonts. Uh, and the class I'm teaching right now we kind of have a book and the book gives some pretty bad advice about um, how to put text in a game so what it has you do is it make it uh, has you make a sprite and attach that sprite to an object put the object in the game and then there you go it shows up a uh, problem I have a typo okay let's see if we can fix it so I go to the sprite and I go to edit the sprite and open it up and there's really uh, that makes a new one there's really no way to go back and fix it except to just completely start over. And the problem gets worse if you don't like the font or the color or the size or anything else. So it's not the ideal way to do things. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our draw event, which we haven't even talked about yet. But what I'm going to do is get rid of the sprite. We don't want any sprite at all. And we're going to add a draw event. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Ignore that for the time. Minimize it. What we need to do is make a font first. Sorry about that. Out of order. In order to keep the resources down in the game when it loads, it doesn't. It only puts in what it needs to put in. So what we need to do for fonts is pick the font we want to use so GameMaker can load in just that one. Not all of them, just the one that we need. So I'm going to pick a font here. I'll actually, uh, we'll do that one. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like. I like it. And we're going to bump the size up. I don't know, 40. That sounds good. But I got here by clicking on new font. Oop, where is it? Right there. And then make sure you give it a name. Font game over. Chose my font. Chose my size. There's a bunch of other options here you can check out on your own. But that's good enough for now. So now I have, and I can get rid of this. I have a room, an object, and a font. My object, I have a draw event, and I take it back. We're going to make this a draw GUI event. This is a graphical user interface. It's basically the window. We'll just leave it as simple as that for now. It's basically the window that the game is being played in. The whole thing is the GUI. Since we're doing just one room, very simple games at the moment, don't worry about it too much. But draw GUI is appropriate for things like menus and health bars, game over text, things like that. So I'm going to go over the draw tab and I'm going to drag out a couple of these things. First and foremost I want to drag out set font. Well, I want to choose the font I'm going to use for my text. Game over. Let's stick it in the center. And I'm also going to change the color. Well it's black so I want to make sure it shows up so we'll stick with white. Whatever color you see here. So like if I choose that, whatever that is it'll show up. So I set the font, I set the color, now I can actually draw my text. Text is game, and I'll put it on a new line, use a number sign for that, or a pound sign, or a hashtag, whatever you want to call it. Game over, and I'm going to try to put it in the middle of my room. Cheating way to do it, room width divided by two. Now I could do room height divided by two, but it's going to end up too low, so I'm just going to guess my height is... 640 by 480, so put it, uh, I don't know, 200. You can always adjust it uh, later. So I'm going to hit OK. F5. Runs the game. Keyboard shortcuts are nice. And there we go. So essentially you get the same result, but there's the added benefit of, well, oh, I didn't like that font. Let me choose something else. Let me choose Callisto. And I want to make it just a tiny bit smaller. And on top of that, let's say I don't like the text. Let's say you lose. Well, instead of having me, uh, instead of, ugh, sorry, instead of me having to recreate a sprite, I just have to edit those settings and ta-da. So you can use the sprite method if you want to. There's really nothing wrong with it aside from the fact that you can't change anything. Um, as far as resource use, 
I don't know which one uses more. The sprite that you would use for text is pretty tiny um, as far as kilobytes go, but the font, I couldn't tell you. I suggest you use the font because if you do, do if you do make a typo, if you want to change the color, if you want to do anything like that, eh, use the font. It's easier to change your mind. With the sprite, you're stuck and you got to recreate the whole thing from start to finish. So, that is it. This is a quick one. Hopefully everything made sense and 